Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Anthem, episode 2. This is a post-recorded introduction because I actually split up my recording into two parts. I hope you enjoy. Cool. Looks good to me, let's go. Um, expedition tutorial. View mission, difficulty level, and privacy setting. P. Okay. Last required mission is automatically selected, or select a new mission title and a new objective on the map. Invite players by pressing E to enter the squad page. Launch mission by pressing F. Okay. Um, I'm going to put myself on private, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to... I'm still learning how to do it. I may play with other people later. Particularly if I have friends that get the game or whatever, but for now I'm just going to see how far I can just solo through it without any problems until I get to like end game stuff. You have selected the private setting. Anthem is best experience with a squad. Use a public setting to allow others to join your game. No, I don't want them to. So private, except. Uh, difficulty, normal. Let's go. Increased or decrease the difficulty of your game. Higher difficulty means greater danger and greater rewards. Grandmaster difficulty levels unlocked with game progression. We're getting progress. Um, recommended for players who want a balanced experience between difficulty encounters, narrative, and exploration. Normal difficulty offers some bonuses to loot at the cost of increased enemy health and damage. A mix of teamwork and skill is recommended. Enemy health and damage increased by 52%. Let's try hard if I die a bunch, whatever, but better loot. Why not? Okay. Expedition map tutorial. Play To play a mission or enter a stronghold or free play, select the icon blah and press space. Squad leaders can access all missions available to squad members. Caution may contain missions you have not completed. Okay, that's interesting and also really cool. So if you're just starting the game and you go in with a... If you're in a squad with someone who's finished the game, you can do pretty much all the random bullshit that you'll die in immediately. Good to know. Uh, missions from friends will appear on your map. Jump in and help. Cool. Locate Ar Arcanist Matthias Summer. Shaper expert. Okay. I mean, that's like the only thing I've got right now, right? Yeah, seems like it. You select a private for this expedition. Keep me as private. Hard. Are you? All right, and we're in. Um, just make sure no one's about to talk. No one's Here about to are, talk. Freelancer. Someone's about to talk. You ready to jump in? <laughs> yes, I am. Well then, let's not keep that big bad world waiting. Our contact is to locate the Arcanist named Matthias. Tassin has given us the last location where he made contact. Cool. What I was about to say is, uh, the loading screens in this game are freaking hell. Uh, it won't be- you won't tell in the video because I'll cut them all out, but... Whew, they were rough. Location Tassin gave us must be close. I'm detecting the camp's shortwave radio. He was like really Not close to this anyone. city. Oh, and anything? You have lots of broken equipment. Obviously, Arcanist made. Otherwise, no, nothing but the radio. And no Matthias. Oh, hang on. Detecting another radio. Same frequency. Must be more than one camp. Let's follow that signal. The ability to just fly whenever you want is really cool. Okay, I've got a new trail. We'll need to get to the location I've marked for better reception. I guess I just fly through these? 
Anything else I should know? Besides that Arcanists get themselves in trouble by being out here. About Matthias? Brilliant and reckless. He has a reputation among the Arcanists. Not a good one. Having a bad reputation is chapter one of the Freelancer's Handbook. The radio signal is getting stronger. Clearly, Matthias established more than one camp. No. Arcanus? Yes. Matthias? No, he's not here. Look for anything that can help track him down. She might just follow this compass. Ah, oh, get stronger as you get closer. Good to know. Also, I have a triple jump with this guy, which is awesome. That's where the signal is coming from. We can use it to help search for another camp. Yeah, I figured. It'll take time. Okay, get started. Seems quiet out here. Maybe. Scavengers! Multiple signals, they are everywhere! Are you done with the radio? No, still working on it. Clear out those remaining scars. Radio signal? Still working on it. Just I go the radio signal for the next location. I understand, just... Hurry up. Of course, lots of steak, I know. More hides. I noticed. The only way to stop the scars is to destroy their hives. The only way to stop the scars is to destroy their hives. Implying there's another hive somewhere? Critical failure, squad defeated. I may have to go medium difficulty if I've picked the squishy frame. I shouldn't say frame. The squishy javelin, plus I've also, uh, playing solo. So I may have to crank the difficulty down. They were doing a lot of damage to me. Suppose I could just get good, that works as well. Quickly. That's the last of those horrible things. Now finish off the remaining scars. Finally, 
hands. Yeah. This is Arcanist Matthias. Scars have attacked my camp. Need immediate assistance. Matthias, where are you? He didn't hear you. But I think I found another camp. Okay, let's go. Hear anything else, Adam Matthias? Nothing. I just lost the radio signal. We need a signal booster. Wait! Found one. Got a bunch of scars. I've never seen this much scar activity. What is going on? I don't know, but it's not a good sign. Scars incoming. Looks like they're using gates. I hate those. Very unfair. Okay, I'm looking for a signal booster, right? Yes, it should be close. All you need to do is turn it on. Signal booster is working. I'm heading up the stairs, hoping to find refuge. Scar is in pursuit. Matthias? He still can't hear us. I've got a location. The ability to just straight up fly immediately is really nice. I wish I could do fly faster, and I wish the controls were better. But, not much I can do about that. And be careful that I don't overheat as well. Worth noting. <laughs> I don't know if I have to stand still to stop myself overheating, but... I just got 50 freelancer loyalty for doing something. Oh, he's that way. Mosquitoes. They hurt. I'm not seeing our organist. Owen, help me out. He's not here. Wait, that's the radio we were following. The scars were taking it apart. We fixed that. I bet we reached Matthias. What's happening with the scars? Something has them enraged. I have to, like, duck and cover. That seems to be the last of the scars. Let's fix that radio. What needs to happen? Get me into the access panel, I'll do the rest. I wish objectives came up slightly okay, faster, it'd be better. Starting repairs. Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. Would you just let me... Hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars, I'll figure it out.
look serious. Very serious. Focus on the big guy. Watch out for the flamethrower. Speaking much during this because it's actually vaguely challenging. Now I just have to kill the big dude. Which, I mean, easier said than done. Poison might be a good idea. blow up his arm. Oh, the gates are closing. Looks like we scared them off. Let's take care of the rest and get back to the radio. Ha! <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Are you sure? You must Sweet. be sure. It's working. I've got a location. Patch it with eyes through. I'm calling anyone in the area. I need help. There are scars everywhere. It works! Matthias, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Thank goodness. There's no time. I'm hiding, but the scars are searching. I... I can see them. You must hurry. Just hang on. We're coming. Matthias managed all these stairs to get up here, with an army of scars at your heels. Great things are possible, I guess. Oh, instanced. I didn't know there was instanced areas in this. That's really cool. Not entirely unsurprising, but cool nonetheless. The dungeon. Matthias, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. I'm getting a read on his radio signal. Are you okay? A little banged up, but fine. You see that ramp up ahead? The one with the statue? Head up there. Sure, as long as I search for loot. I have no idea what Chimeric Compound does, but I want to collect everything, essentially.
Well, not everything, obviously, but I want to collect all of the resources that I may need. See anything? I'm kind of surprised, but really glad. I found some canisters. Hmm. Huh. useful. Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. It'll be a contained explosion. I think you better hurry. I was about to say, I was pr I'm surprised, but glad that I can just fly in here, too. Got a swarm here. Less than the thighs to deal with. Oh, there's, uh, I've just noticed there's nests here. More incoming, watch those hives! Alright, hives down. Hives taken care of, and let's see to those scars. You got it! Quite used to the combat, and as such, I'm having to shut up more because I actually have to pay attention. Ah, uh, decent one. I assume this way. Yeah. That was just explosions I just saw on the ground. I can just, uh, yeah, I can just fly through here. Ooh. Sweet. Works for me. Oh, shit. I 
I'm kind of starting to get used to, uh... Scars have too many ways to add to their numbers if needed. What I was saying is I'm now used to how quickly my uh, cooldowns come back up. So now that I know that my cooldowns are as quick as they are, it makes it a lot easier to just cast them all the freaking time. Are you talking or was it, uh, what's his name? Come to the realization that I'm fast, therefore I should use my speed. Being able to just fly is freaking good. I need to kill that guy, and the easiest way to do that is with my ultimate. I got stuck in a wall. I don't know whether I can burn to death or not. I think not. Ooh. I don't think dots can kill me. Down I go. But being shot while I have a dot can kill me, so there's that.
I have no idea how far back it'll send me. Once again, could be easier for me to put this down to normal rather than on hard. But we'll see. I seem to be handling it, and it seems to be challenging enough, which is also good. Also very low level, so kind of to be expected, I suppose. I think this is from the start of that area. Too many ways to add to their numbers if needed. I've also just realized that, uh, I've also just realized that I actually have uh, four of my E ability. So I can use Be that careful. all the freaking time. by the way, is actually uh, saving my ultimate. The reason being, that's weird. Anyone else say that happened? <laughs> uh, the reason I'm saving my ultimate is because I know there's another one who's going to spawn, maybe even three, or all of threes. Rule of threes, there may be a third one that spawns. So I want to get my shields back if possible. Woo! This is difficult. Credit where it's due. I put it on hard, it's actually hard.
fire hurts. Alright, so I need to kill ads. That's what I'm learning. All right, that's the second one. I don't care what its name is. That thing just isn't dying. What the hell? Mr. Reaver is down. I'm starting to get a hang of the movement, which helps a lot. Also, again, <laughs> I'm almost forgetting about commentary because it's actually noticeably difficult. My hope is I'll just poison him to death. A lot of running away. I feel like if I'd done like a tank though. Oh, hi Matthias, I didn't actually know you were here. Good to know. Luckily I don't have to keep you alive as well. Where is he? He's down here. Can I? Oh yeah, I can.
This flamethrower man is not dead yet. Oh, I think he's done. Yes, he is done. Let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? Oh! That was challenging. Or the rest. Oh, there are some. Okay, active signals. I'll keep monitoring. You should check on Matthias. I don't know how this man survived, but he did. Matthias. Hey, Matthias. Here, right here. These scars. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and scars often clash over shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please. I need to return to Fort Tarsus. Ooh. I got some Arcanist loyalty too, which is nice. I think that's just straight up the end of the mission, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So that was really hard. Granted, I was doing it solo on hard, so I would kind of expect it to be, but at the same time, whew, it was fun. The movement is really cool, being able to like, just like jump and fly through like a hole and then like land on the other side and like triple jump and throw it in and ugh. It's very fun combat, but I've picked like the squishiest possible person, like character I could, and I've done. I'm decided to do it solo on hard, so I guess that's why. Um, you can actually skip all these results I've just noticed, but I kind of want to see what they are and see if I can figure out what they are exactly. Soldier, playstyle medal. Don't know what that is. I'll have to look at the playstyle medals later, or the medals in general later. 3,500 experience, which made level 3. Still don't entirely know what alliance bonus is. Cool, I guess. Weapon slot unlocked. Cool. Having like a shotgun in there as well would probably help. Having just a pistol made it slightly more difficult. Um, cool. Sweet. Uh, this is the stuff I got, I think. Double-edged inscription. Increase all damage dealt by 35% of base and damage taken by negative 35% of base. That sounds really good. Assault system augment. Enhance the assault system to increase damage by 5% of base damage. Sweet. Common sniper rifle. Common heavy pistol. Common shotgun. And a common marksman rifle. Did I get three of these each? No, they're just power three. I see. Okay. Sweet. Uh, go to the forge. Because I can add a second gun. I can do that immediately. Alright, I'll cut out this loading screen and be back with you at the forge. I got 20 parts of each of the others. I guess that means I need parts to build them later? Who knows. Right. So what do I actually want here? These are power three. I think I like the ability to just have like a bunch of damage, but what I'm going to do is actually cause the blast back on my secondary and my primary. We'll see. Marksman rifle, probably not a bad idea. Um, cool. I think we're good. And I have an assault rifle and a pistol, which should make things slightly easier. Okay, and we're back. I'll finish off this kind of like story that we're doing currently with these guys. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yarrow. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Oh, backstory. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, 
was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Freemark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous. But most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. One of our best, Freelancer Adams, led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny, says the army, was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Free Lancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm which was Unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage 
Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. Interesting. So the Heart of Rage was that thing we did in the very, very start introduction. And apparently that's where the city used to be, but there was such a huge cataclysm, which is where these relics get opened, that it, like, destroyed everything and had those huge monsters and all that kind of shit. Good to know. Well, that's all I'm going to have for this episode, at the very least. This will be a very long episode, even though I cut out all the unnecessary shit that I will undoubtedly cut out. But, um... I'm going to actually have this keep going. I'm going to have my regular series going on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I'm just going to have this going up intermittently when I play it. I'm going to have the whole story mode plus anything else that I find interesting while I'm going through it. So, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time. Where we will, I guess... Do this quest. Talk to this person. Also, it's worth noting, I remembered... Um, Janny that he was talking about, we actually spoke to her near the front of the gate. She was standing there talking about, like, um... She was the one who told us that this place was quarantined? So, that's interesting. Uh, alliance system. I should go check that out later. In any case. I'm gonna stop now, and thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. I like this game. The only thing I don't like so far is... Well, it's not even that I don't like it, I just would prefer if the flight controls were more directly linked to my mouse. So I could, like, move my mouse and I would start flying in that direction immediately. As it stands, you move your mouse and then, like, half, like a third to half a second later, your dude starts moving over there. Well, he starts moving over immediately, but he doesn't get there until about half a second after you've pointed it somewhere. Which makes me, like, oversteer, kind of. Anyway. I'm talking too much. Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time.